Well, I think there's kind of two things. The first is that I, I think about myself as a trail rider, and a trail rider is someone who, to me, who likes to go places on a motorcycle and do it on the most interesting way off-road that, that, that I can, and, and that's kind of what that race is. And the second thing is just speed and distance. It's so big and it's so fast and it's so far and that, that fascinates me. I'm really looking forward to riding my motorcycle over some of the terrain. You know, I you look at the pictures that you see in, in the coverage on TV or um, some of the Boston Globe shots and I think, I get to ride my motorcycle there. That's gonna be awesome. And so I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm also looking forward to being a part of something that's it's really big. I mean, it's it's um, it's world class, and I don't I don't think there's any other way to see the race. And, and I'll be a part of that, and I'll um, get to test myself against something that is uh, pretty tough. The numbers are scary in Dakar for a for a rookie. A lot of people don't finish their first Dakar. A lot of people don't finish any Dakar. You know, every foot in the race will could be your last foot. Um, there's so many risks and chances to go wrong, and so on. And I'm. I'm pretty confident that when I'm really focused that I can deal with all those different risks. But I worry that at some moment I might be overconfident or I might just not be thinking about riding the bike and, um, and that one of those will catch up with me. And so um, in, in my preparation, I'm really trying to drive home to myself that every minute I'm moving, I really need to be focused just on that and nothing else. Bike prep has been all about keeping it simple. Um, Everywhere throughout, I've tried to take away components, take away failure modes, make things as simple and as easy as I could do. Um, I have a, an old Dakar bike and I've ridden quite a few others. And one of the things that's concerned me about those is, you know, you have a fuel pump and a downpipe and all these different things that represent a way for the bike to not get to the finish of the day. And so as I looked at my bike, I thought, man, I've ridden a dirt bike a lot of places and beat the heck out of them and they seem to hold up really well. So what I want in a Dakar bike is really just to keep it as much my, like my trail bike as I can. Yeah, the test in Death Valley went really well. Um, I love riding the bike and that, that was the first thing. Um, there's not a lot of time left before the bike has to shift, so if, if I didn't like it, I'd really be in a corner, but it just feels like a dirt bike. A fast dirt bike with some wind protection, but it doesn't feel um, heavy or ungainly or, or anything which some rally bikes can do. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, it's rolling. Oh, it's rolling. Um, my goal is to finish the race. And I think for a lot of people, they maybe go in thinking about finishing, but somewhere along the way, they start thinking about competing. And I had a good friend named Elmer Simons who went to compete, and um, he died in the 2007 edition. And it took me a few years to sort of step back away from that. But I think every time that I start to dream about a, a competitive finish in Dakar, I remember Elmer, and I realize that what my goal is is simply to cross that finish line and to have faced the challenge that is Dakar and prevailed. <laughs>